again. Today we're going to make a cocktail called the Sebago Cocktail and it uses this wonderful Flag Hill barrel aged apple brandy. I wanted to create a drink that used this wonderful spirit uh, made right here in New Hampshire at Flag Hill Winery. They make a number of other spirits, they're the state's only distillery, but to me this is their, their prize uh, spirit. Uh, it's similar to a Calvados, so this cocktail is based a little bit on the Calvados with a few on the uh, Calvados cocktail with a few important differences. Um, it is the only spirit in here, so we will start right off with our full two ounce pour of the wonderful Josiah Bartlett barrel aged apple brandy. To that, we will add an ounce and a half of orange juice. Again, you can use uh, fresh squeezed orange juice if you like, but if you're not going to, make sure you get a uh, not from concentrate, good quality market orange juice. And then we're going to use some ginger syrup. Now I made this, uh, you can buy ginger syrup, but it's really easy to make on your own. Get a, a good piece of ginger, cut it up about a third of a cup, Add that to uh, a combination of equal parts of sugar and water, about a cup of each. Bring that to a boil and then let it simmer for about a half an hour with the ginger pieces in that. Strain that and you've got a wonderful ginger syrup to use for cocktails like this one. And we're going to do a half ounce of this. And the way that the ginger mixes with the orange juice that's really a focal point of this cocktail and that that apple brandy is the, is the backbone of it and um, really is a wonderful combination and then just for balance and a little bit of tartness just a quarter ounce of lemon juice finally and what gives this name this drink its name is a few dashes of Peychaud's bitters. They're aromatic bitters. Um, a little bit different from the standard Angostura bitters. Uh, but what they'll do is they'll, they'll give it a salmon color. And that's how I got the name Sebago Lake up in Maine. So let's add uh, a few dashes of the uh, Peychaud's. We'll do three. And you see that's very red. And once we mix this all up, we're going to shake this, it'll get that salmon color. So. Let's go ahead and add our ice. God, I can smell that already. This is bringing me back to last summer. Okay. Get some ice in here from before. Let's get rid of that. Let's take it up. Hard shake until you feel that getting really cold. It starts to fr uh, frost up on the uh, on the tin there. And then I'm going to go to my freezer again for a pre-chilled cocktail glass. Cold, cold, cold. And I'm going to strain it right into here. Now for a garnish, I have. apple slice and just make a little, little wedge here. Give that right there. Get rid of that. Put this on our edge of our glass. Alright, and there we go. You see that salmon color there in there. And that that flavor with the ginger syrup. And that brandy, that strong apple brandy backbone is just really wonderful. So there you have the Sebago cocktail. For this recipe, go to my uh, blog, cocktailpictures.blogspot.com. You can see some more pictures of the drink. Um, and there's a lot of other recipes on the site, lots of photographs and some other videos. So go there and check it out.